Hasta tour coming right up. I just got to train Nate on how to zoom in and out on my phone. <laughs> so he's coming out. We'll see you soon. Hi there. So today I'm going to take you on a hosta tour. I've got lots of hosta in my garden. And a lot of you have been asking if I would go around and take a tour with you. I did this last year and Nate helped me. He's going to be walking around. I thought it'd be easier if I was like in the shot. That way you can see uh, the size of the hosta compared to me. I'm about 5'3". So I'm pretty short. But um, I just... I like to get near it so you can see how big the leaves are and different things like that. But we'll start up here in my kidney-shaped island bed. And uh, this is a blue angel hosta. It's giant. Uh, I've got two more over there that are a little bit smaller. This one down here is a lot smaller. This is called a halcyon hosta. All four of these hosta up here were planted when they were little baby seedlings. And I had no clue what kind of hosta they were. So I threw them all up in here. They all looked similar at the time. And a few years later, I can tell that they are in fact different. So that one right there, I am planning on uh, probably going to move. And I don't know, maybe we'll split this big one and put it in that spot. But that's kind of the story on that. That's, that's why that one is so much smaller is because it's a completely different, different kind. So this garden bed up here, probably gets about, I don't know, what would you say, Nate, about five hours of sun or so. The sun comes up over these birch trees here and then it sets over there. And so they get quite a bit of afternoon sun and they do just fine. So these are the Blue Angel. And then back here, I've got uh, frozen margarita pasta. So I started out with three, I think. I had three of these that I split from, from another frozen margarita pasta. And then last year, was it last year? Yeah, last year, I split those three into six and put them up here in the island bed. These leaves are not very sturdy. They're kind of flimsy leaves, I guess. There are hasa leaves that have much more structure to them. They're thicker, uh, so these don't really handle any sort of damage that comes to them but they're still really pretty. I love this. So I've got six of them up here and that kind of does it for the island bed. So now we'll just move down into the gully. I'm counting your hostas. Oh, you're counting them? Yeah. Okay. Over under 150. You want me to guess? Yep. Over or under 150. Over. Are you saying you have over 150 of yeah, them? Yeah, because we just counted 10 right up there. What do you want? What do you say? Under 150. Really? No, 150. Oh. I was thinking 100. I'm going to say over. Okay. I don't know if these count because they're so tiny, but I've got healthy on in here. There's one, two, three, four. <laughs> So we'll count it. Um, down here, these pasta I overwintered in my vegetable garden, my raised vegetable garden. So they look a little rough because they just got put in this spot, but I'm hoping that they, they fill in. This is called Hope Springs Eternal. This is a Shadowland series from Proven Winners. Uh, this pasta right here is another Blue Angel. It is giant. <laughs> uh, this hasta over here is also a blue angel. This one has been in the ground a lot longer than that one. So you can see just, oh, ripped the leaf. So you can see just how big these leaves are and they're so pretty. I just love the, uh, the blue kind of tint to that and uh, ribbing. They're just a really great, great hasta if you need a hasta to make a big giant impact in your garden take up a lot of space that's a great a great one uh i think maybe we'll go back in here so this pasta right here this is called an august moon and this is about as big as this one will get it gets really pretty uh purple flowers on it I've, it's already bloomed and i've cut it back 
back here. This is a June Hasta. I love the coloring of this Hasta. This Hasta uh, was planted over there a few weeks ago and I dug it up, split it into three. And so that's why it looks a little rough right now. Also being eaten on by the rabbits. So uh, I've come out here several different mornings and there's like a family reunion of rabbits just snacking away on this pasta in particular. They haven't eaten any other pasta, I don't know why, but for the, this one they have. These, let's see, these three pasta right here, they're getting ready to bloom and I love these pasta the most in the early spring. They pop up and they provide so much color. They're like this vibrant electric yellow looking. I'll try to pop a picture in there. And as the season progresses, they do turn to just kind of like a normal green. This right here is probably because they're getting too much sun, uh, but I don't mind it. I think it's pretty. They are gonna bloom here and I love a stem on this. It's a purple stem and a darker purple bloom. A lot of the houses just get a white bloom, which is pretty, but this is uh, a nice kind of contrast to the other blooming hosta. So these ones are called Fire Island. I don't know if I said that. Um, this one right here is called Fragrant Bouquet. So it's super similar to the frozen margarita that we saw up in the island bed. It's just a really precious, shiny looking leaf and it's about ready to bloom. These ones right here are called Glazing Saddles and it's also getting ready to bloom. And I love the, the leaf shape on this one. It's really cool, that stark white and green color. This one over here is an elegance. So this one gets really big. I just transplanted that last year. It was just a little volunteer hosta. It's the kind of cool thing about um, letting the blooms on the hosta go. Uh, sometimes if I forget to cut them back or whatever, they'll go to seed and they'll see little baby houses everywhere and I dig those up and put them in other places of my garden so that's always fun. Free hasta. <laughs> These right here are called Francis William. There's a there's one over there and then there's two right here. This is one of my favorite big hasta. In my brain I've got like a couple different tiers of hasta and I allow myself a few favorites from each tier so like big, medium, and small. This is one of my favorite big ones. I just really love the nice variegation of the leaves with this kind of creamy white and then the sagey green color. And the cool thing about these is they kind of change. They're kind of like a chameleon has to, depending on the amount of exposure that it gets. So I've got some of these in, the, in quite a bit of sun and they look completely different than the ones I have in full shade. And then I have some in part shade that look completely different. So they're a really nice, sturdy, leaf hasta and yeah they're one of my favorites but this one over here is called salmon substance and I'll stand near it so you can see how big it is so I've got this one right here and that one but like look at how giant that leaf is this is one of my favorite big hasta too so salmon substance and Francis William are two of my all-time favorites and I love the color on this the leaf size and structure. This is another one that if you just want like one plant to make a big statement, uh, this is a great one. And it can also handle quite a bit of sun as well. So that's cool. Ready? All right, we're back to the path and we'll go right over here. So these are all called Remember Me Pasta. And I planted these in here all at the same time. They were the same size. And for whatever reason, that one is the biggest one. So I, I'm not really sure why that happens, but it's kind of cool. I like how it they kind of tear down to a smaller size down here. But yeah, it's called Remember Me. And then while we're over on this side, this is another August moon. So this is um this is a great hasta if you really love that big giant salmon substance, the limey green one I just showed you. If you really love the uh, kind of effect of that hasta, but you don't have as big of a space, 
this would be a great one to go for. It's just a little bit smaller looking. So it looks exactly the same, just the size is different. So it's called an August Moon. All right, now we'll go back over here. These are just a tried and true, really neat uh, hasta that's been around for quite some time. It's called a drinking gourd. And you can kind of see why it's called a drinking gourd. <laughs> the leaves cup like this and you could probably drink out of them. I love these. I love the color, the shape. It's just a really neat looking magical hasta. The only thing is, is uh, we are under lots of like canopy trees, I, I guess I would call them, like cherry, walnut trees, and especially the, the walnut trees, they drop a lot of just debris, as trees do, and these hasta in particular catch a lot of that. We did just have a rain the other day, so when the rain comes, it, it kind of washes them off, so it's not that big of a deal, but they're just really beautiful hasta. These ones right down here are, I've got three of them. There's, so there's one, two, and then a little tiny third one down there, <laughs> right here. And these are called Rainforest Sunrise. And same thing with these Rainforest Sunrise hasta. I planted these three plants at the same exact time. They were the same size. And for whatever reason, this one is giant. And, and these two are not, so I'm not sure why, but I kind of don't mind it. I think it's just really interesting. But this this almost has the same type of a leaf as that drinking gourd. They, they kind of cuff like that, and they're just really pretty, cute little, like, more round shape. Over here, these hats are called Halcyon, and they're just a really beautiful blue pasta if you're looking for like if you really like the elegans pasta the really big one or that blue angel that big one i showed you over there same thing with this if you love that color and that effect uh this would be a smaller one if you don't have the room for a blue angel or something like that you could get the blue halcyon pasta and these ones i have the same ones around that tree right there that i do here and these were some of the first pasta that i planted in this garden I don't know, like seven years ago or so. Um, I'll try to find a picture of when I first started putting this path in. And I, these paths have been in here for quite some time. Over in here, we've got a, a couple more house, blue house yarn right here. Uh, these three paths are right here. These are called Gold Standard. It's a very, it's a house that's been around for years. This one is a elegant pasta, and let's see. Oh, we skipped over this one. This is this one's called a guacamole. So this is a really pretty leaf too. I love it. It's super easy on the eye, like the variegation. It's super subtle. Earth Angel pasta look very similar to the elegant pasta, and the way I tell them apart is uh, the Earth Angels. They have almost kind of like an angel wing shape, I guess. I would say that kind of looks like an angel wing where it kind of goes like that and comes to a point more, like a, like a heart shape angel wing. And then the elegant pasta are almost exactly the same, but their leaves are more rounded. So you can, you can kind of see it in this one more. It's got more of a rounded shape to it. So that's how I tell them apart because they're very similar looking. Back there is another uh, salmon substance. I just keep splitting them and adding more and more. <laughs> this one back here is gorgeous. I'm waiting for it to put on some more size because I want to split it and add it to a new section I'm putting in in the back there. But this is called Forbidden Fruit. It's got great coloring to it. If you're looking for something different and interesting. This one over here is called Diamond Lake. This is from the Shadowland Proven Winners series as well. And you can see it kind of has like the ruffle effect on the leaves. So that's kind of neat. Not sure what happened here. Uh, it got burnt by some water or something. So yeah, these are all Diamond Lake. 
This is a Patriot pasta. I love these pastas so much. I think they're kind of underrated. I'm waiting for this to put on a little bit of size too so I can split it. Uh, this one right here is called a oh Dreamweaver, I think. Is it Dreamweaver? I just put this in last fall and I believe it's called Dreamweaver. Uh, this is a little bit smaller than the Dream Queen, which I'll show you once we get there. But this is a brand new one that I just added to my garden. While we're here, this one over here, here is called a Royal Standard. It's a very old, old variety of pasta. In through here, I've got a line of Autumn Frost pasta that I just put in last fall. And I think I split, like, I had three plants and I split them into <laughs> into seven. So I split three plants into seven. They were super small looking. It was kind of sad looking. So they might take a little bit of time to put on some size because they were so small when I, when I planted them. But this is a great hosta. I have some more that are uh, pretty well established over there. I'll show you. And they just add so much glow and light to your garden. I love them. These hasta right here are called blue mouse ears. They're super tiny. You can see how tiny and cute that is. This is their full maturity. They won't get any bigger than this. And they put on this tiny little, I, you can see the, the bloom stalk here. I didn't cut them back yet. They're super short and stout and it's like this purple bloom and they're just so cute. I love these hasta so much. This one's called etched glass. And this is a Shadowland series from Proven Winners. This one right here I've had in, I don't know, maybe like, this is going on the fourth, third or fourth year. It's called Praying Hands. And it just, it doesn't grow. This is the same size it was like three or four years ago when I put it in. So I'm not really sure. I, I honestly, I kind of forget about it. Otherwise I would have moved it by now and tried it somewhere else. Uh, but I just, I forget about it because it's so insignificant. So I, I, I should dig this up and maybe try it in the full sun and see what it does. Uh, over here, these are a great one. You, know, you guys uh, comment on these ones a lot. These are called Captain Kirk. These are a pretty popular one. And they're just a really nice medium sized leaf and they have just a really cute compact uh, shape to them and tons of leaves. The cool thing about these too, like the Fire Island has it on there, is they have a darker stem and then they also bloom purple. So they're about to bloom here soon. This is a another uh, Rainforest Sunrise pasta here. All of these pasta in here, including that one, are called Twilight. And those two right there, I actually split up and, and moved this summer because the ones I had there, for some reason, just weren't coming back. I don't know what happened, but, uh, so we'll see how those do this year. But these are another one that I've just kept taking splits off. I think I started out with one plant and, and now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So are you, are you still counting? Oh, you quit counting? <laughs> You're I lost like, track. <laughs> you lost track. We'll have to count them at the end and then we'll, we'll see. I just thought when I said six, I'm like, oh crap, I'm gonna mess him up. <laughs> but you already, you already gave up. Okay, so we've got over here, this is another drinking gourd hosta. I did not plant this here. This was seeded on its own. I must have forgot to snip back some bloom stalks and it threw a seed over here so I've kind of just left it because I think it looks pretty, the color contrast. Uh, this is a Paradigm pasta and let's see, so in here I've got First Frost. This is a really neat, just kind of a classic, classic pasta, a great size. There's three of them in here and then this one right here is called uh, June. They're very similar in their, their shapes, the way they look. They just have a different coloring. So, first frost in June, love them. 
I don't know what this is yet because I transplanted this last fall and it was just a little baby seedling. I threw it in here so I'm not sure what it's going to be until I let it put on a little bit of size. It not really sure what it's, what it's going to be. These three hops I got here are called August Moon. It's a really great limey green color. It just adds a lot of brightness to this dark section of my garden back here. I love those. Believe it or not, I do have a couple of hasta in this planter, <laughs> but this, all the other plants are kind of uh, taking over here. But this is, I I believe, a, an elegant hasta. I don't know because it was just another seedling that I dug up. I've got a really neat hasta in here called O Cindy. I love this one, but it's getting <laughs> taken over by all the other plants. So I'll definitely take this out of this pot this year. Uh, at the end of this season and get it planted in the ground. But yeah, it's called O Cindy, and I'm not sure what that is because it was a seedling. This one right here is a Elegance. It's put on quite a bit of size and I can kind of differentiate now what it is. This was also a seedling. I had three of these Blue Hawaii pasta and the bunnies are just eating them. This is all they've left me. So this was a giant blue Hawaii and this was a giant blue Hawaii. <laughs> and they're gone. They're completely gone. So this is all I got left of that. I have a couple over there that I'll show you what they're supposed to look like in a second. This area down here is kind of a work in progress. Um, I haven't really done much to it. I've added a few things this year, but I eventually want to make like a pathway down here to go back behind my shed, so I'm not, not going nuts out here yet. Uh, but I do have a few things that I put in. So these are guacamole hasta. I put these in last fall. I think I had two of these, and I split one of them and ended up with three, so they're doing great. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll get back on the path. Back on the path, uh, these hasta right here, same thing. I. I started out with one of these hasta years ago. These are called Lakeside Cupcake and I just kept splitting them because I loved them so much and I put them kind of in a little drift around these trees. So it's called Lakeside Cupcake. So this is a Raccoon Alley and oh there's a butterfly! Hey bud! So these are one of my favorite, I would say, medium size hasta. These are called stained glass. I mean, you just can't really beat the coloring of this. They they just glow not only at nighttime, but all throughout the day. If you've got a super shady spot and you need to bright it, brighten it up with something super interesting, stained glass hasta are amazing. I love these so much. Same thing with these ones. I started out with one or three plants, probably three plants, I think. And I just keep splitting them and adding them. I've got them here, I've got them around my house over there. They're one of my favorites. Right back here, behind the stained glass are, uh, these hats are called wide brim. I transplanted these from the other side of my house this year. So we got three of them in here, one, two, and then one down there. These actually look better than the ones that I left in the spot I took them from because the bunny has been eating those ones over there. So these are just some really awesome pasta. We did have some hail damage, I don't know, late into the spring and so that's why some of these have holes in them but they can still soak up uh, nutrients from the sun and so I don't, I just kind of leave them like this and deal with it. But you can see this leaf is just giant and beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. These are called Woo La La. And they are from the Shadowland series of Proven Winners. And I've got three of them. So there's one up there. And then this one right here. And that one right there. This is a Francis William. One of the ones I told you was one of my favorite big hasta. But this gets full shade. I'll try to put a picture of uh, the one that's, that gets a little bit more sun. 
how the variegation on the leaf is just completely different. So that's one of the reasons I love this hasta so much is, you know, sometimes you're splitting hasta and it's like, okay, you, you split it enough and you, you have that hasta everywhere in your yard and you're like, okay, I don't need any more of that. But Francis William, you could split this so many different times and put it in different sections of your garden depending on the exposure and it will look like a completely different hasta. So anyway, <laughs> I get really excited about free plants. Uh, this is another Francis William down here. This is a giant Elegans Hasta. And all of, actually all of these three Hasta right here, uh, I want you to remember when we get on the other side of my house, I lifted these from the other side of my house in this tiny little section. I was like, they're getting way too big. Split them and we threw them in here. Do you remember that day, Nate? Mm -hmm. we, we dug them up and I just threw them in here. And I was like, they need more room to grow. And I'm so glad I did because can you imagine these in that section over there? <laughs> it would be out of control. So it would be snakes galore. I'm telling you what. So I'm so glad that we split these hasta and brought them over here because they just look so great in this section. This is elegant. This is another Fire Island. Uh, this is the one that in the springtime it pops out super early with just like this vibrant glow of yellow leaves. This is called a Empress Wu Hasta. These are one of the biggest hasta that you can get and it is from Proven Winners Shadowland series. This has been in here for, this is the third year I think, because we put this garden in in 2020. So this is the third uh, summer that it's been in here and it's put on quite a bit of size. We bought this at, remember that, at Countryside Greenhouse, and it was this big. It was in a four inch container. So that's how big it's gotten over the years. And this is very similar to that one we've seen up there, the Woo La La, except for this doesn't have any variegation and the leaf is just straight green. So I'm excited for this to kind of take over this whole area. I don't know if these have to count because they're not technically planted in the ground yet, but these are called Christmas pageant. I think, let me make sure. Yeah, Christmas pageant. I'm excited to get these somewhere. I'm kind of waiting because I'm cleaning out, you know, some more woods back there and these are scheduled to go back there. So we've got three of those. We've got one of my favorite small pasta and these are called Wrinkle in Time. They're just a really nice dainty little leaf and it's kind of super frilly looking and the bloom on these little guys is really precious too. They bloom a purple bloom as well. Uh, I do get a lot of questions about these pasta right here. You guys seem to like these a lot as well. These are called Great Expectation. When I bought these pasta, <laughs> they were same thing, super small in a little square quart. And I had them in my dump bed for I don't know, like a year and a half or so. And I put them here. I did not realize how big they were gonna get. So in my yard, if a hasta says it gets, you know, to the full potential, it's gonna get there and probably then some. We've got really great soil down here. It's got tons of moisture in it. On top of that, we, we water it with our overhead sprinklers and they just love it down here. And so they always get way bigger than what they say. I didn't know they were gonna get this big, uh, but they're kind of covering up my little bird bath there, but I guess it's okay. But these are really pretty hasta as well. This one up here, uh, the, same, the same day we dug out those three down there that I was talking about, that's when we dug this one up, this one, was also on the other side of my house. And I was like, we we gotta move these hots so they're, they need more room to grow. And I'm so glad I did because look at how big this is. It's giant. So pretty, some in substance. Uh, up here, this one is called Coast to Coast. And this is another proven winner from the Shadowland series. I kind of really love the growth habit to this. It's like, it kind of grows like straight up, more vertical and I'm really loving it. I do think it's getting a little bit more sun than it prefers. Maybe that's why these 
uh, leaves are kind of fading out right here, but I don't mind it. These two right down here, I just transplanted these the other day. They are called blueberry muffin. Up here, these ones are the blue Hawaii hasa that the rabbits didn't eat. So this is what those little <laughs> stalks would look like if they hadn't been snacked on by the bunnies. Uh, but yeah, these are called blue Hawaii. These also have a more vertical upright habit. So I think they're a really neat plant. Also, the color is just great. It kind of has a bluish tint to it. These are one of my favorites. These are called autumn frost pasta and I I mean they just kind of speak for themselves I talked about these the other day in my movie so I won't get too far into it but we look at our bedroom window up there and you can see the entire gully pretty much up to the lane there and your eye just goes directly to these don't don't you think Nate mm -hmm. they just stand out and they glow they're so beautiful and I just I love these houses so much. Autumn frost. And I was also thinking about uh, this the other day. I planted on accident. I didn't do this on purpose, but I planted a looking glass Brennera next to my stained glass hasta. And then the other day when I was going around walking through the garden at night, I was talking about my autumn joy sedum. And I realized I've got autumn joy sedum and autumn frost hasta an accident. That's kind of cool. <laughs> He's looking at me like, you're weird. <laughs> well, I just get excited about that kind of stuff. Like, I didn't even plan that and it's just meant to be. Now back in here, this is like a work in progress and uh, we will get to this eventually, but I've, I have thrown a few plants in here just to have them grow on a little bit. So these three right here are Francis William. One of my favorites. These three right here are Woo La La. I took these, these are splits from the three Woo La La I have up there. This one is called a Dream Queen. I just dug this up from the other side of my house as well. And this one gets big and beautiful. So I'm excited to have that growing. Diamond Lake. Um, this over here is the work in progress. I'm, gradually cleaning this out you can see i've started like a burn pile burning a bunch of stuff but these half right here are called drinking board these are were all splits they were super tiny when i put them in two summers ago i just threw them in here these ones right here are called barbara ann they came in a one gallon pot and i split it into three <laughs> that's why they're so small and uh they're just kind of growing on here until I find a spot for them. These ones are called Sunset Grooves. They're super cute little plant. Same thing with this. I, I bought these in a one gallon pot and I looked for a pot that had three different shoots in it. When I got them home, I separated it and planted them here. So they're taking some time to grow on. So that's Sunset Grooves. These ones over here are from the Shadowland series of Proven Winter. These are called Hudson Bay. Let me make sure. Yeah, Hudson Bay. <laughs> I still have a tag in there. But I've got uh, some wee hasta. These are also proven winner. And they just have this really cute little ruffly effect to them. I did come in here last year and separate some to try to get more. So it's, it's covered in weeds you can't really see, but I've got one, two, three, four extras. Just waiting for them to, to grow on. This is another really cute little texture that you could throw in to your hasta collection. These are called uh, frozen margarita and they're just a really beautiful glossy pasta and these get quite a bit of sun. How much sun do you think these get? Probably at least six hours of sun. Oh yeah. Least. And they're gorgeous. I mean they really don't, I don't <clears throat> see any signs of stress on them at all. I actually had three more of them that were planted right up here there were probably like like one two three and I had to move them obviously so we could put the deck in and I put them in pots oh, they're in the full shade so those ones are in pretty much full sun the ones I transplanted into full into pots are in the full shade I'll show you those in a second and they look gorgeous too so frozen margarita is a great 
great hosta. I do have a little hosta right here that I planted in this pot. This one is called Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. This is another summon substance and you've probably heard me say it a million times. <laughs> but this is the first one that we started with. I fell in love with this hosta when we visited my aunt Mary and Uncle Kurt. And they had this in their front landscape just all by itself around a bunch of other, you know, different plants. And I said, what is that? She told me and Nate and I went out the next day and I, I think I either bought one or three. I think I bought three. And I've been splitting on it ever since. So I love this one. This is one of the, those uh, frozen margaritas that I dug up from where the duck was going in. It's just in a pot. Just pl plopped in this pot and it's doing great. There's all this new growth coming out. I mean, I could, I could split these too. And I've got two more. So this, this one right here, full shade. And it does great. And then I also have one over here. And these have just a really beautiful bloom, bloom on them too. I'm probably going to break this off, but... I'll show you. It's just a straight white bloom. I love it. We'll just quickly go over the pots here, but this I think is an Elegans. This is a yellow polka dot bikini. Uh, this is another Elegans Hasta, and this is getting quite a bit of sun. I've just noticed in the last few days, but I, I don't mind it. I think, think it still looks pretty. This is a Halcyon Hasa, and all these were just dug up from my garden, so I didn't I didn't go out and buy that for that pot. I just thought it needed a little bit of different texture and color, so I found a free Hasta in my yard and plopped it in. This Hasta down here is called Strip Tease. This one, super cool. These are called uh, Forbidden Fruit. Gorgeous Hasta. These these have been in here for. A long time. Remember I told you to remember where Nate and I dug those hasta from? Those big huge ones? This is where they were. They were all crammed in this tiny little corner. No kidding you. They were coming over the the retaining wall here which it looked really pretty but it was just too much. They needed space to do what, what they were supposed to do. So this is where they came from. Anyway, this hasta right here is beautiful. It, it's very similar to the frozen margarita, but this one is called uh, Fragrant Bouquet. Super pretty. These down under here are called Minuteman. Very similar to the Patriot hasta. Just plain old white and green. So pretty. This is one another one of those uh, praying hands that I showed you over there. I planted this the same time I planted that one. And this one is actually looks better and it gets more sun. So I wonder if I need to move that other one, but it, it hasn't hardly put on any size. So not sure about that one, but it's cool, still cool looking. This is a little blue mouse ears right here. I need to trim up this. Look at how pretty these hasta are. I can't even see them. I need to trim up this Japanese maple here. These are called Captain Kirk, and I want to get in here and thin this out. Uh, I'll probably do that either in the, the fall or the, the spring ne of next year, but these are going to be beautiful when they bloom. This is just a collection of plants I need to plant, but uh, these ones back Hidden here. Hidden over here, huh? Yeah, <laughs> hidden plants. <laughs> <laughs> so these ones back here were big, giant, and beautiful, and they they looked like that. You couldn't see any space in between them, and it was really bothering me. So I dug them up this spring, put them over my gully garden, and for some reason the rabbits have been just going to town on these guys. Maybe it's just more hidden, and I, I don't know, but they have been eating on these like crazy, so I'm hoping next year they will come back a little bit better. These are called Fire Island. These are the ones that get that really stark yellow color in the spring. I really want to thin that out. These are the most beautiful Halcyon hosta I have in my garden, but they've been here for the longest. 
This one I always, I can't ever remember if this is the Golden Tiara or Pilgrim. I think it's a Pilgrim because the Golden Tiara is a little bit smaller. So I'm pretty sure that's a Pilgrim. Here, there's a couple more blue mouse ear hats there right here. These little tiny ones. Um, let's see. The, believe it or not, all these, this is, well, this is a giant weed. <laughs> but if you look past that giant weed, all of these like just kind of green hasta reseeded themselves in here and I got to get in there and dig them out. So I've kind of just been letting them do their thing and grow on for a minute. Even this one, I don't even know, I don't even know what that one is. It's got these skinny leaves. I haven't seen that one yet. I did not plant that. These two are called curly fries. They're a beautiful hasta, but they get way too much sun here and I just keep forgetting to move them. So I, I would like to move these and put them somewhere else where they get a little bit more shade. I will come up here and I've got a couple of volunteer house stuff. <laughs> Anyone who lives close in these house stuff, come visit me. You can have whatever you want. <laughs> this is another little etched glass house here. This is one that the rabbits have been eating on for some reason, but it's really pretty I love that color under here these are called Christmas tree pasta and I've got four of them I need to come in here and deadhead obviously but these are really great pasta um, as far as the shape of the entire plant I love how like just little in contact they are that one is significantly smaller because in the springtime the rabbits came back and completely hacked that one back so you can, they didn't touch these ones at all, but they ate that one and it grew back just fine. It's just a little bit smaller. I do have a couple of first frost pasta in here that just showed up in here. This garden needs a little bit of help. I found a bee nest in there the other day, so I, I kind of haven't come around here in a while. I'm trying to stay clear, so it needs weeded and stuff, but um, it is what it is. I'm not trying to get stung by a bee. Up here, I've got three bedazzled pasta. I just planted these in here this spring. I wintered them over. I got them on sale last year. Wintered them over in my vegetable garden bed. And I really like the coloring that it provides up here. I do have a few remember me pasta right here and they are not looking the greatest. Every year around this time, they start getting kind of brown on the leaves. They get hit by the overhead sprinkler, and then the sun comes out, burns the leaves, and that's what happens. So we have started watering at night because that kind of helps. Same situation with these pasta. I just put these in here so they're looking a little bit ratted and torn. They were transplanted and split, and they're also getting overhead uh, sprinkling water with burning of the leaves, but these are called Ben Vernoy. I'm just gonna let them kind of do their thing in here for a year or two, and if they don't bounce back, I'll just move them and put something else here. These in here are the Blue Halcyon Hasta. I love these ones. As you can probably tell, I have them planted all over my yard. <laughs> this is a good, this Ben Vernoy right here, that's a good one, that one looks pretty good. And this is also very similar to that autumn frost I showed you down in the gully there in Raccoon Alley. And they're typically cheaper because they're not branded. They're not a proven winter plant. This is another Halcyon pasta right here. Beautiful blue foliage. And this is another one of my favorites, the Francis William. So this one gets kind of like part sun. I've got one up there that gets quite a bit of sun. The ones down there that get full shade, this one gets parts on and it looks completely different than the other two. These two pasta right here are called Great Expectation. And again, same thing. I've got a couple of the Great Expectation down there that are in full shade. These ones get quite a bit more sun for, so they're not nearly as big. I had a third one in here, but I think it died because my Annabelle Hydrangea is just like taking over. You can see I hacked at it the other day. 
these pasta right here are called our stained glass. I need to get in here and uh, thin these out as well. They're kind of taking over. The, the bottom of the leaves there get hit by the weed whipper when Nate mows the lawn, but it's not his fault. Like, it's coming over into the grass. So my plan is uh, probably next year to come in here and extend this bed out so we don't have that issue. But yeah, these are called stained glass. One of my, one of my favorites. And then over in here, I have some more elegant pasta. So there's four elegans in here. One, two, and then three, four. So you can see these same situation. They get kind of whipped by the weed whipper, but it is what it is. So I just, I want to take my, my bed here and extend it out probably a couple feet eventually. All right, well, we'll go over by the wood pile and I think that'll be done. But we'll briefly go through my dump bed. I've just got some Diamond Lake, some Elegans. This is a yellow polka dot bikini. Oh, someone asked me about this the other day. This has to, I cannot wait to get this planted somewhere in, in a home. This is called Tutti Fruity. And I think I have got three of them in there. So there was, I think they were on sale at the end of the season and they only had two, I think. But, oh, so these are called Whirlwind Hasta. I just love these hostas so much. They kind of have that more upright habit that I was talking about. And they're super thick and sturdy of a leaf. So I really like that being under all the, the canopy trees. And then last but not least, I think this is the last one. Uh, Captain Kirk. Beautiful hasta. Same thing with this, they've got a really nice sturdy leaf to them and you can see under, underneath all these trees that drop things, they don't skip a beat. So, Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and if you have any questions on any hosto or you want to know a little bit more about something, how much, how much sun, uh, shade, exposure it gets, how much water, uh, just let me know and I'll try to answer your, your questions. I tried to go really quick and not talk too much because I didn't want to make this too long, but um, I just appreciate you guys watching. Thank you, Nate, for helping and uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Hey, I'm back for a second before work because I forgot five pasta. I don't know if you guys noticed. You're probably Maybe some of you were thinking like, wait, you just walked past that one and that one and that one. And I sure did. So I'm just gonna quickly show you the five that I walked past. All right, in here, I have some little guys called Snowcap and they kind of frame this Sum and Substance Hasta right here. And there's also one tucked back in there. So my plan is to possibly move these eventually so that they have a little bit more room to do their thing so we've got those snow cap and then i missed some over in there we'll go grab. we've got this one right here this is called brim cup and i just planted this it was tiny last year on clearance so i put that in there i don't know late in the fall and then oh we missed this one right here one of my favorites it's called dancing darling it just has a really neat ruffly edge of the leaf. It's super pretty. Very different from all the other hostas. These hosta. ones right here, these three, are called Paul's Glory. Get close. Kind of the leaf on that one. And they do get a little bit more sun than they should, so the edges kind of turn white a little hey, bit. <laughs> right here. On this side of my house is called a Vulcan. I don't know if I am pronouncing that right, but it does get a little bit more sun than it should, so the variegation of the leaf isn't probably what it should be. It should be a little bit more stark white in the middle. But yeah, those are the five. Well, I tallied everything up while I was editing this movie, and here's a little picture of my tallies. I cannot believe I have this many hasta. I was not 
guessing that at all. I knew I would have over 100, but this is just insane. I've got 62 different varieties and 313 individual hasta. I counted all the hasta in my yard along with my dump bed and all of my pots. I did not count the hasta that were volunteering up my stone steps or around the corner there. So those were not counted, but all the ones that I actually planted on purpose, uh, 313 grand total. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it.